there is no way I can make this full recipe for my household without having significant food waste. Today I'm making dwarven tide me overs from Tika's cookbook in Leaves from the Inn of the Last Home. If you've made this recipe, share your thoughts in the comments below. There was no way I was going to make a full batch of this, so my plan was to cut everything in half, and with the price of veal, I decided to cut it out entirely. As the full recipe scrolls by, I will tell you what I used. 1 pound ground beef, 1.15 pounds ground pork, approximately 6 ounces evaporated milk, 1 half cup oatmeal, 1 and 1 half cups dried breadcrumbs, 2 eggs, 1 teaspoon onion flakes, 1 half teaspoon parsley flakes, 1 teaspoon sugar, 1 half teaspoon paprika, 1 fourth teaspoon white pepper, 1 half teaspoon salt, and 6 ounces of milk. I ended up only using half of that. For the coating, I used 1 cup flour and 1 cup dried breadcrumbs. Lastly, for the gravy, I used approximately 8 ounces of commercial gravy and one 10 ounce can of cream of mushroom soup, one half pint of sour cream, and on or about 3 ounces of sherry. I began by placing the ground beef, which was just a little frozen in the middle, with the ground pork, then adding in the dry ingredients and trying to mix them together with my wooden spoon. I quickly realized there was no way I was going to do this without using my hands, so I added the remaining ingredients of evaporated milk, oatmeal, breadcrumbs, eggs, and milk, and got to mixing. This created a sticky meat mixture, which is exactly what I was looking for. Next, I combined the flour and breadcrumbs for the coating and set it aside in a small glass bowl. I greased a cooking sheet with some light olive oil and made massive burger-sized balls out of the meat. Firstly, I didn't want the walnut-sized balls, and that would require a ton of baking on multiple sheets. And I wanted this to be a meal, not just a snack. So fist-sized balls it was. I formed them, then coated them, and arranged them on the sheet. Next, I preheated the oven to 350 degrees and cooked them for 30 minutes on one side and turned them over for another 30 minutes. I could have gotten away with a total of 20 minutes, but I don't want to play around with raw pork. It kind of just freaks me out. So I wanted to make sure they were cooked through. Lastly, I made the sauce in a much bigger pan than needed. I added the gravy and cream of mushroom soup and mixed till boiling. Then, I turned down the temperature to simmer and slowly folded in the sour cream. Once fully mixed, I added the sherry and cooked it till it was warm. This did mean that the alcohol didn't fully cook out, or at least I suspect it didn't. Then I arranged the meatballs on a dish and smothered them with the sauce. It all tasted a bit bland to me, so I think if I ever make it again, I'll use the full spices rather than half in them. But my wife did go back for seconds, so either she was hungry or she liked it. <laughs> I was not impressed. Thank you for tuning into this Dragonlance Saga recipe. 
This has been Adam with Dragonlance Saga, and until next time, Slanjavar.